We have one last award to give out this evening, and it's a very special award. Uh, it's the People Who Make a Difference Award, and it pays tribute to individuals who have supported the university and made a difference in the quality of life in their communities. It's my pr privilege to present this award to a former mayor of Victoria, the Honorable Will Strong, Armstrong, and his wife, Linda. Will and Linda Armstrong. Sure. <laughs> you want to come up and stand with me while I read all this? You, you, you get to. <laughs> so, Will and Linda Armstrong were Victoria's first couple for nine years from 2004 to 2013, but their le legacy of public service began much earlier. Will first served as the president of the Victoria JCs in 1965. That started a long career of community service, especially in terms of city government offices. He served on the Victoria City Planning Commission and was a Victoria City Council member from 1973 to 1979. He also was chairman of the Tax Increment Fa Finance District Board, chairman of the Small Business Development Center, and a member of the Victoria Economic Development Corporation Board of Directors in 2012. He was named the Rotary Club Citizen of the Year uh, by uh, the Victoria Rotary Club in 2012. Will was one of UHV's supporters going back to the university's beginning. He was a member of the original group that went to Kingsville in 1971 to request the founding of a university in Victoria. He also was one of UHV's most vocal supporters when the university was working to add freshmen and sophomores in 2010. Most recently, he supported UHV in its efforts to move forward on the Ben Wilson Street Project. Linda also has been involved in the Victoria community, although she says her most important job is to keep Will out of trouble. No, I'm sorry, <laughs> to make Will happy is what it says. <laughs> she served as president of Victoria J.C. Etz in the mid-60s and was president of the Junior League in the mid-70s. She's also a member of the Bronte Study Club and was a member of the student Stud Finders group, Stud Finders, a group of ladies who volunteered with the Golden Crescent Habitat for Humanity. That needed explanation, by the way. <laughs> Will and Linda, we thank you for all of your service and your commitment, not only to uh, UHV, but to the community. And we're so honored thank to have you, you with us this thank evening. You. So. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to give you a chance to, I, I will give you this. to talk. I don't know whether we want to give Will a chance to talk, <laughs> but we'll give you a chance. I don't know if, how many of you have ever worked with Will Armstrong on a project, whether it was in a city or community or business, but he doesn't use the word I very often. It's usually we. And so consequently, in our relationship, I am we. <laughs> and I must say, that, I, that we thank you so much for this recognition and this award. Thank you. We just sat down. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I wouldn't be here without we over there. <laughs> When I met her, she was 16 years old and she was wearing some real tight blue jeans. <laughs> and uh, she, we're, we're partners. We've, we've had a wonderful life together so far and we're planning on another 20 or 30 years maybe. So, But I want to 
especially thank Vic Morgan for being Vic Morgan and Vic and his partner for making Victoria their home. Uh, when Vic told me, I was at the Tuesday morning meeting, Vic told me, uh, after the meeting, can I talk to you for a few minutes? And I thought, I had a flashback. Oh no, I'm gonna have to go talk to the dean again. <laughs> anyway, uh, Victoria is a wonderful town. It's absolutely incredible. My parents and I, my brother, moved here in 1947. There were 15,000 people here. Victoria College was here. Uh, it was a cow town with some agriculture with three oil fields around the sides of Victoria. Uh, in the 50s, along came DuPont, Alcoa, Union Carbide, and we were a petrochemical plant, or our town. And uh, about 40-something years ago, the University of Houston became an opportunity for us, and we were successful. We got what we asked for. We got downward expansion. And time passed, and we're getting what we want now again through the staff of Victoria University of Houston. And we're forever grateful for what you're doing for Victoria. And I think the best is yet to come. I think that the university's plan here for Victoria, turning this into a college town, will make us better and more prosperous and more happy than we've ever been before. Thank you very much for this honor. Thank you, Vic.